Hello everyone, welcome back to War Mongrels. Last time, we managed to secure ourselves some explosives and lay down some mines in the street. Now we need to take out the two remaining marksmen from the rooftops before we can try and then rig some explosives onto this car. So we've got a marksman here and a marksman there. I'm not even sure how we're going to get onto this ladder. I guess just this gap here is our only option, which is a bit of a pain. I don't know if we could make that shot from this, uh, this spot up here. That would make things a bit easier, but we'll find out when we get there. But let's deal with the one that is closer to us first. We're going to need to... I'm not even sure we can get on that ladder. We can get on this rooftop. Oh, we're going to need to activate this pulley mechanism to get that ladder to go. I'm sure that's not going to be a quiet or simple affair. But this area is nice and cleared out, which is good for us. So where are we? That's not us. That's us. I think we're going to have to deal with this courtyard by the looks of things. Now, there is a crane here. So if we come over and get into these bushes, if we can get lead across the street here, If you can get into that bush before anyone turns from a conversation, I'd be really grateful. Good. This bush provides full cover, which is nice. But they are looking over in this direction. So we're going to wait for those two to instigate another conversation. don't think we can get quite that far back, can we? We absolutely cannot. Oh, there's a guy there. That's really good for us. Alright, that did not work. I concede that did not work. Where is Led right now? We're both laying over here. Okay, other options. We can hide in this truck. Could we? Put some fireworks down in this bush. We could. Let's get lead out of there a minute. Rubble can put some firecrackers down after these two finish their conversation. If we can kill them whilst they're stood in a bush, that would be great. going to be too close to him. Get off the street, please. Get off the street. Okay. Well, not perfect, but progress probably the strap line I could make for my own my entire let's play in this game so far not perfect but progress now that that guy's out we can take up this one 
on the other side of the courtyard because no one is looking at him actively. So if we just grab our knife from the bushes. We will wait until that guy turns around. Come over this side of things. And from right here, just go stab. Oh god. What did you hear? You heard nothing. Go back to your work. Good. Let's just grab this guy. Let's stick them in here. Okay. That guy will hear that throwing knife. That guy will see this trap. Let's grab lead. Lead can head up here quite safely now. Lay down. This guy does not quite have sight of that officer, although I don't think that is going to be the best plan, trying to kill this guy without him falling into the cone just outside of his periphery. But what we can do now is if we set some fireworks right there, run back into the bush, hide by making sure we're actually lying down. That guy is going to go investigate, then we stab. Another one bites the dust. Grab the dagger, please. Grab the soldier. And then if this guy's line of sight terminates near here, what we should be able to do, I think, is put those down there. Get back to here. Lay down. And do the same trick nearly twice. Very nice. So we don't need to utilize the crane here. But the last question is, how are we going to get these two guys at just the same time? looks like if we could grab the knife please please can we have the knife oh, am I holding the body I am that'll do it if I grab this knife start crawling if we can hug this building to this bush just like so we can push you up slightly tab Stab this guy while you're attacking that one on a three, two, one, execute. Fuck him. I love a well oiled machine. We will get our knife back. Anything over on this side of the street that I've missed? Nothing really concerning. No obvious collectibles just hanging out. Guns. Oh, there was, a, there was a collectible right there. I mean, it would not be so hard to just sprint back for it at this point. And you know what? I will, because I can. So double clicking lets us sprint places. Obviously you can see the ring of noise that we create when we're doing that. But there's no one around here because we murdered them all already. Uh, Pol pass for Polish soldiers. Alright. 
I'm going to guess that the last piece of a collectible might be behind this piece of street here that we didn't really delve into. Though, I don't see anything obvious. I assume there's like a third one somewhere on this map. But I could be wrong. But right now, we can worry about this sniper. Let's get this guy back. And over here. Can we... Can we deal with this now? Apparently not. We're going to have to shoot it. I'm confused. How are you getting up there, exactly? Yeah, I figured that would be as far as you were going to make it. So, we have a ladder. We have no other way up onto this building. But I don't see how we can fire at this mechanism. I can't agree. Oh, maybe throwing knife? This piece of wood seems to be specifically designed to make this more difficult than it needs to be. No, these guys have no idea how to use this ladder, apparently. And so subsequently, neither do I. Unless, like, the sniper needs to be on this roof to snipe it down. But that seems like overkill. But nothing else we've done so far has worked. Don't think we can just kind of get his attention and shoot him from this side. Alright, yeah, no. That'll awkwardly do it. I think we'll send Lead up. Just because he doesn't throw his knife. So that said, maybe we do want to throw our knife so we don't have to enter their kill box. Would you please climb the ladder? Thank you. friend soon get my knife and that looks like sniper ammo that we might be able to utilize down there I wonder if from up here we could make the shot onto the other guy though you come down the ladder you prepare yourself to go up the ladder after he gets down Then we will be at three of the marksmen done. Absolutely. It's a shame his gun fell down to the street, because could always, always use extra ammunition. How loud is this gun? 
That should be the last of them. The car is all clear. Oh yeah, that worked. The party was a blast. This guy's just moving invisible crates around. Oh no, there is a crate there. Just about. Uh, plant a bomb under the car. Just such a simple and succinct instruction. Um, we might as well use our sniper ammo at this point, right? If we have targets. I kind of just want to throw a grenade at that lot as well. That seems like it would do lots of work for us. I just have no idea how much noise that would make, as in how much heat it would bring on us. Uh, looks like we're not getting back out this way. Which would have been too simple, I guess. So we need to come all the way back round to the checkpoint that we entered from into the secure territory. Which is interesting. So, given that there is not a smaller or quicker way around, how big is the blast area of a grenade? It seems to be quite large, if that's the kill zone for a grenade. So, we will wait for this patrol to come round and see if we can get them to be stood in the blast zone of many of the others that are just stood around and see what we can do with that. Because if we can not have nine extra pairs of feet walking around, that's going to be really good for us, I think. Oh, look at the, the sea of ears that are going to hear this explosion. It is quite extensive. Right, let's go. I'm gonna throw it there. Now. Or we're not, apparently. How do we not have line of sight? Oh, okay. No, our. Our reach is not that far from here. I thought we were going to be able to throw it much further than this, but I will wait for them to do another orbit. I won't make you watch it, and then I think we should be able to make the shot right there instead. So we'll wait for them to do a lap. All right, the patrol is in sight. Hopefully... This doesn't end up going terribly for us. Oh, man, are they really not going to come this close to the street? They're not. What a letdown. Is this manhole cover connected to anything, or is it just a hole? Looks like it might be just a hole, but for now... Evidently, this is not where we want to be, at least with the explosives guy. How about the sniper? What work could we get done with him? Because if there's a sniper nest here, we might as well be utilizing it, right? him. He's like, nobody's just kind of alone. Alright, we'll save our ammo. You two, Moving down. get off the roof, please. then we'll have to come back round to the street where we got started here. And 
get back into civilian territory, which won't be so bad for Rubble, because he's in civilian clothes, but Led with the giant sniper rifle is going to have slightly more issues. But we'll get down to here. And crawl our way out of this checkpoint where we came in. She's been having a long conversation with these two. This guy cannot see us. Just how we like it. And we'll settle right here for just a moment. There is an extra sniper bullet up on that roof. But it seems to be only one. There's our other collectible. And Rubble here can be just going about his day. Affirmative. So let's grab this collectible while I'm finding it. Okay. We can use this manhole to get up behind these two possibly for like a double kill we can use this manhole to get to here and then it looks like it's at least six people to be getting rid of but to do that Where are we going to put ourselves to start taking them out in pairs? Because we can get around freely enough. But lead really needs somewhere specific to be hanging out in between one bit and the next. We could probably get him up to this part of the roof there. Might even be able to get some more ammo out of this rifle when he does that. This guy has eyes on a lot of stuff. That guy has eyes on the car. Although... If we get to here and simply crawl behind this guard theoretically we might be able to then plant the bomb we just have to do it when the patrol is nowhere near us oh yeah, that's that's the one I didn't think of. I I didn't see that guy standing on the other side of the house. Right, where's Snipey Boy? Behind this truck. How I'm gonna get you back anywhere? I don't even know how I got you here in the first place. That manhole cover. That's it. So as long as these guys aren't all paying attention, we can get to here on our belly. After this lot passes, get to the manhole cover. Hop back over here, go back that way. That was it. Right, they've turned. Mostly. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, he made it further than I thought he was gonna. I'll be honest. Alright. Uh, where are they? All that way back? Could we...
No, no, we couldn't, is the, uh, the long and short of that one. All right. I will just pause there and let you guys not have to watch this loop round, but we will get to that manhole after this troop passes by once more. All right. Must be safe now, right? So it's these guys' vision we need to avoid. Crawling, crawling, crawling. <laughs> Alright, bit bit risky there, but we got there. Pop out here at our convenience. But I think what I'd like to do is Pop out. Uh, no, 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 no. You're going to pop out here. Then you're going to stab him. You're going to throw a knife at him. Together. Then you pick up that body, drop them in that hole. You grab that body, drop them in this hole. No, you grab that. You grab. I'll take care of that body. Definitely. This is fine. This is exactly what we needed it to be. Rubble, go get your knife back. Alright, that's two more dealt with. Then what? They have sight lines up to there. Alright, we're back to where we started. We came out of these doors at the very beginning. So. I take it we don't have a line of sight through this van. To that guy there we need a green line for that, don't we? And we don't quite have it. From here we do. But that guy's gonna see something, as is this guy. Could we get up onto that roof? I think we'll be able to, given how many people we've taken out from this area. If these civilians just don't care about our existence, Assuming they don't. This guy takes another leak. As is his favourite thing to do in the history of the world. As I understand it. We can swing on round up to that sniper nest. We have four shots. Might be five by the time we loot the weapon. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Okay, that'll do. Just stay right there on the ladder. I think we're actually out of sight. That's fine. Yeah, we're alright. Climb up here. With enough time, 
and a couple of good grenades, you could probably take out every soldier here if you had to. No, this is not the same kind of sniper ammunition as I have. Where are you going, dude? Tell you what, just move. Move that guy out of the way. It's going to make it a bit easier for us to lie down here. Right, if we make sure we are somewhere very safe like this manhole where we're not going to be seen during a search. We can start going after some sniping here. Why do we fire our rifles so poorly? Is what I don't understand. Maybe it's when we're led down, we don't hit so well. Fuck him. Right. Let's try get these corpses out of the way before the patrol comes back round. This is not ideal. But perhaps they're just not going to care that much. It'd be funny if they just walked into the open manhole cover. We have one shot left. We can make this shot. Could not make that shot. Got to make this shot. Why not? See you in hell. All right. With that done, let's just grab this guy. Oh wait, no. Let's grab this guy who is directly in the path of. Oh, was that handgun ammo? Amazing. Put them away in that hole. And then the patrol is coming around soon. Grab the knife faster, please. Grab the soldier that we murdered and put them in the hole. Quickly, please, quickly, quickly. then hide under there. And then after these guys pass us by, should just be a matter of placing the explosives. Where we need to be to extract, I don't know. But these guys have terrible sight lines for their purpose. Rig that up. Be easy. <coughs> the... Oh, fucking German cars. Hmm. Maybe I'll try this. What's taking him so damn long? If I put this wire there... Uh, all right, should work. Time to split. You say that, you got like another four seconds on this. All right, we will hide in the sewers quite happily. We're up in our little nest. If it all kicks off and we need to, like, 
blow up the rest of this patrol with a grenade. Who knows? But currently it's just hide and wait for the explosion. And there's some folks having a raucous good time. Nice looking bit of ham just there, perhaps. Some sausages. How long are they going to party, though? That's what I want to know. Come on. You've had enough sausage. You've had enough wine. They're really just trying to ratchet up the tension, aren't they? Oh, I guess... Are we not hidden well enough? Perhaps. Perhaps being led on a roof doesn't qualify as hide. That's why this hasn't gone green yet. So, we'll get down here. Make sure... We're out of sight of that guy. He's having his 14th leak of the hour. We will casually wait for leak number 15. He's been hitting that German Glühwein. It's just what it says in the bottle here when we go to Lidl and get um, mulled wine at Christmas. Right, let's get into this sewer as well, perhaps. Civilians don't care who we are. Does that qualify as hide? We need to hide in that sewer. God damn it. <laughs> okay. That shouldn't be too difficult. He says. Get everybody. Okay, that was a painless crossing of the street. If he's going to try and drive, maybe we didn't even need... Get into the fucking car. Please work my little device. Please, please, please. Yeah. If he's going to drive, we didn't even need to put the bomb there if he's this drunk. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. Payback time. Two. Two. Three. Where's three? Kick me up through. Damn you, size of mine's a 35. Anti-infantry piece of crap. Rubble, run for it. Down that street. Yes, sir. Ooh, looks like we made it. I wonder where that lady went. You've just survived this mess, and all you think about are women. Ladies, my friend. They're all fucked up, Captain. Okay, we made it out. Chapter 5, Consequences. Well, that is going to be one for next time. We're going to get into the introduction sequence here, kill our intro and get back to the main menu. And it just leaves me to say thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.
Cheers.